whole milk. Naughty. <laughs> Chill with the cheese, Lauren. Ah! It's a cake ring. <laughs> Sewell, Sewell, and welcome back to Lauren Z Sides Sim Kitchen. I know it's been about two years since the last episode of Lauren's Sim Kitchen, but that's only because I've been perfecting my cooking craft. And now I have finally achieved the level of gourmet chef. Please roll my new gourmet chef intro. Wibs Guanda Wampf. Esset Wibs Minicule. Sol sol es va morfe. Wofom nisha ga. Hube es nöble, huble es nöble. Dis es laden. So I only do gourmet food cooking now because I'm just that good. I mean, I've had two years to practice. I have to be, right? But yeah, last time I picked regular cooking items from The Sims, and this time I'm only allowed to make gourmet items from The Sims. So of course, starting out, we of course need a breakfast food item. So I decided to go with the spinach frittata. I have never made a frittata in my life. So this should be interesting. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you eating? Yeah. Don't eat. I'm cooking gourmet food today. Okay. Can't you see? I'm set up right here. That's You're serious. making me look like a fool. <laughs> Actually, I need your help. I can't film myself cooking. Put your food, throw it in the trash. Your food will seem like trash when compared to my gourmet food. I have been studying The Sims gourmet arts for two years. I need you to film me over by the oven, the, the stove top. Stove? <laughs> this is gonna be great. So what's going on here? Well, I have to, in a medium bowl, would you say that this is a medium bowl? Cause Small. Try again. In a medium bowl, whisk together the eggs, the milk, and salt and pepper until smooth. Ready to see my egg cracking skills? I'm a gourmet chef. I know how to crack an egg. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, it's on my foot. I'm a gourmet chef. I know how to crack an egg. Crack an egg. Crack an egg. That was... Uh, what did you do? I don't know. Okay, ready. I'm scared now. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, you just can't like, whatever you did there. Don't do what you did. I'm too strong. Jeez, it did it again. Thank God I'm wearing my apron. Why are these exploding eggs? Yay, cracked eggs. All right, what's n or wait. <laughs> what's next here? We have the milk. I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, look at that. Whole milk. Naughty. <laughs> and then we need a half teaspoon of salt. This is one fourth, so that would mean I need two. Two. I know. I'm a gourmet chef. One fourth teaspoon of pepper. Yay. Yay. All right, now we're whisking until smooth. Oh, I have to broil. Okay, and now Mrs. Always Right. I don't know who got this from. <laughs> Happy life, happy life, am I right? Hate it so much. But I need this to fold, we have to fold in the cheese and tomato. While I'm not entirely sure what that means, we're gonna figure it out. So here's the- I think it means like mix, at like, okay. Oh wait, how much cheese? Crap. All right, we're gonna eye it. I've been eyeing all the ingredients this far. Cause real gourmet chefs don't need to measure. Oh my God, it's like mainly cheese. Fold it. Okay, now we set that aside and then we come over here to the cooking station where I have already prepared my ingredients. We're gonna melt the butter, which I also eyed. Might be a lot more than we needed, but it's fine. I like how Dexter is staying a safe distance away from the cooking area. It's smart. Good boy. We can add the onion. I gotta do my Sims gourmet saying. Sool, sool. <laughs> That's what you say when you put the ingredients in. Sool, sool. Cooks it better. All right, now we saute. Would you say this is gourmet? Yes. Oh. Okay, so uh, I didn't read the recipe correctly. So we're supposed to use like fresh baby spinach, not frozen spinach, but it's gonna be good enough. We just have to saute it with the spinach for like two minutes. And then we add in the egg mixture. They wanted me to use four cups of spinach. This is two cups. Yeah, it should be plenty. This might be too much. We like to promote vegetable eating here at Lauren's Sim Kitchen. Get your nutrients, look at it. Oh my God, so much cheese. So cheesy. <laughs> it's so cheesy. On the package of the cheese, it said that, oh no. So the package has almost two cups. Has one and three quarters, and you used at least, at least one and a half. Maybe, yeah, you definitely used a lot. Yeah, I was supposed to use one cup. 
You know, half too much. That's okay. It's just be really cheesy. <laughs> I it's agree cheesy. with it. Now what, you cook it in there? I and then you boil it in the oven? Then I literally just take the whole pan, which I've never done before. And throw, throw it in. into the oven. Throw it? Don't throw it. <laughs> oh, broil. Yes. Done. I knew that was about to happen. No. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Wow. Gourmet. That looks really good. It's because it's primarily cheese. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's delicious. I'm a genius. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sims. Should I try it without the spicy ketchup? For, by the way, I'm obsessed with spicy ketchup. Not sponsored, just delicious. To all my friends out there, spicy ketchup. Gotta get a piece with the spinach and the tomato and the <laughs> everything. Got it. It's probably really hot. You just went right in? Oh my God. That is good. They got a lot of spinach in that bite. My things for next time. Less cheese. Less cheese using mm. baby, like fresh baby spinach, yeah. not frozen spinach, and less spinach. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it means it's good. How dare you? Get your own. Stop. What, I rate this? Yeah. Out of 10, 6.75. I put my heart and soul into this. Out of five stars? Out of five stars. Three stars. Okay, I would agree. All right, so now it's lunchtime and we are making sandwiches, but gourmet sandwiches. And in The Sims, the gourmet sandwich of choice is a Monte Cristo, which I think is French and I've never made. I mean, they look good. It's basically a, ham, a fancy ham and cheese sandwich. So you're not gonna be a fan of this, Bobby, but we have to cut off the crust. Why? Breads. I don't know. <laughs> There you go. So the recipe I found says that the original Monte Cristo sandwich is supposed to be three pieces of bread stacked on top of each other, kind of like a Big Mac, like a double decker sandwich. So Bobby and I are just gonna share one of these things. Gotta put just some mayo on the top slice of each bread. And then our lovely production assistant, Bobby, sous chef Bobby, shredded. I did, I shredded cheese. This is sliced Gouda. Obviously Bobby and I didn't get our cheese fix earlier today. Yeah. I saw other things that Monte Cristos can be made with Swiss, but I'm more of a Gouda girl. Hashtag Gouda girl. I also forgot to remind you guys that it's the month after my birthday. Bobby, did you know it was the month after my birthday? Yeah. You know what that means. Everybody needs to like this video because it's too, it's still so close to my birthday. Do it for the Gouda. Look at all that. There's definitely way more cheese than I probably need. Yeah, again, good. once again. Yeah, chill with the cheese, Lauren. Ah, this cheese is too chunky. Don't put so much on. I'm trying. Just take some <laughs> off. All right, now it's ham time. The best time. I actually really don't like ham. I like ham. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't care. Just put it on. So in the video, they only they only put on like one slice because this person only wants cheese too. They must be a hashtag Gouda girl. A Gouda girl or a Gouda guy. We don't discriminate. We're gonna stack this, and then you take this slice. This is the messiest freaking thing. Who made this? You. Then you're supposed to mush it. Get that mush shot ready. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is phase one of 70. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? 70 cool. steps. I created an egg wash off camera with eggs, milk, and salt, but there was no, there was no measurements given. So I just, once again, I eyed it because we know how well that's worked out so far. Uh, we got that. Simultaneously, I'm gonna melt some butter because every gourmet recipe apparently is just cheese and butter. That's why it's gourmet. They're like, oh, you think it's so delicious? Joke's on you, it's just fat. Okay, then we take our sandwich and we dip it into this gross stuff. <laughs> it's like French toast, but no Bam. sugar. Oh, uh, I was hoping it would sizzle. What's the heat supposed to be at? I don't, I don't know. Toast. Toast level? For toast? <laughs> For toast. Flip time. This is like, it's like a block of fat. We basically have to make sure we cook all the raw egg. Yeah. So we don't get salmonella. All right, in the instructions, it didn't say to do this, but I don't see how you can't. Cauterizing the sides. Oh no, oh no, you're smushing it. You're what? smushing it. You're smushing it. <laughs> I mean, what? What? I'm the chef. I can't see from oh, your- no, You're gonna destroy it. <laughs> Stop, stop doing what you're doing. It's fine. Are you excited? I'm kind of scared. It's gonna be fat, fat, fat. Literal death. You gotta cut it diagonal, cause that's gourmet. I'm a little scared that some of it is not fully cooked. All right, let's not get salmonella. I was excited for this and now I'm not. Oh my God, it's so good. Is it? Yay, oh gourmet. Mm. Mm-hmm, eight and a half out of 10. 
Eight and a half out of ten to beat the frittata. All right, I had to try it. Cause it's the perfect salty, salty sweet. I'm glad you like it. I'm probably gonna eat this one. That's one of my favorite things. Oh my god. Eight point seven five out of ten. Wait, five? No, you're supposed to do the star ranking. Five stars. Oh my god. Five. Four isn't enough. This is almost perfect. Again, I think a little too much cheese. A little bit. What? I could have done with a little bit less cheese. Okay, so there is no audio. We accidentally turned the microphone off, uh, accidentally. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna be commentating, me, future Lauren, is gonna be commentating what happened in these couple clips where the audio was gone. The audio comes back later, but you know, just to get us through this little bit, because it's good enough. So this is me pointing at the prosciutto wrapped asparagus from The Sims that I'm about to make. This is me pouring oil on the pan, because we're supposed to coat it. And basically this recipe I was saying, I don't know why it's meant to be or gourmet, because there's literally like three ingredients. There's oil, then there's asparagus, then there's prosciutto that you wrap around it. This is me talking while brushing the pan. Still talking while brushing the pan. Still brushing the pan, no longer talking and looking kind of pissed. Here is me preparing the asparagus, cutting off the bottoms, putting them on the pan. Here's me texting. <laughs> Here I am explaining how I'm wrapping the asparagus with the prosciutto. Beautiful. Look at that technique. Yeah, look how proud I am of it. Here I am explaining that I could only make six because there was only six pieces of prosciutto. And then this is me saying that I'm about to put it in the oven. This is me trying to show the finished product without it falling off the plate. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so crispy and delicious. Oh, there's Bobby. Look how much he loves it. I should probably get him in here to commentate on his experience. I'm going right in. Yeah. I didn't even wait for you. It's so good. It, it was so was good. It was incredible. It was so good. You don't even need to know. You can just look at our facial yeah. expression. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, oh, I need a sauce. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You knew it's coming. Look at my face. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's going in. Yeah, so the first the first one I did. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> God, I dropped and ruined it. Five out of five stars. Okay, so this was me starting the third dish, which was the dessert. And I was explaining that it's the hardest thing to make in The Sims. It's like the highest level gourmet item you can make. I was also explaining that Bobby was gone because he bought me lemon cake by mistake instead of yellow cake. But basically the hardest thing to make in the Sims gourmet category is called a baked Alaska. That's the image of it there. And basically to start, you have to take a bowl and you put saran wrap all within the bowl. And then you take softened ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, and you put it into this bowl and smooth it out to create a dome. So here's the vanilla. Here's me smoothing out the vanilla. Here's me <laughs> licking the vanilla and saying, oh my God, it's so good. Oh, just go, going in and eating more ice cream. All right, going in with the strawberry now. I have no self-control whatsoever. Smoothed out the strawberry. Oh, going back in again with <laughs> eating more of the ice cream because I have no self-control. All right, and now going in with the final chocolate layer. In between each layer, you were supposed to freeze them, but I said, I didn't have time to do that. So they all kind of just like melted into one another. There we go, smoothing it out. Oh, she's gonna lick it. Is she gonna lick it? Of course she's gonna lick it. All right, and then I basically wrapped it up and put it back in the freezer. All right, so now we're moving on to me making the cake part of the baked Alaska, and I'm doing fantastic, as you can see, real pro. You're such a pro. So the box said that you should be able to make two round pans worth. This is going to be very uh, important later because I poured all of it into one cake pan. So yeah, here's the finished cake. That's how much of the pan it took up. In my defense, I thought that was fine. And now the next clip, the audio returns. So my commentary is over. Okay, this is a lesson in why you should never think you know more than the directions tell you. Uh, it's a puffy boy. I hope the inside cooks. It's giant. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut the top off. I think it's cooked though. Ooh, maybe it's not. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's not cooked. Crap, crap, crap. Oh my God, I started this morning and now the sun is setting. This has been the longest day. <laughs> okay. Um, we think the inside is cooked now, but I do need to flatten this out, so. Oh yeah. I'm kind of sad that we didn't buy icing because we could have, we could have really partied with this top half. Yeah, this is legit two cakes. Oh my God. And there we go, we have the base. Now I gotta go check on my ice cream. Okay, so I've never made this before, but I've seen it made in cooking shows and it scares me because we're supposed to be turning egg whites into like a foam, which is kind of gross, but okay, we need, 
this much egg whites. And then we need sugar, three fourths cup sugar. Gonna be a lot of sugar. Well, I know meringue is a lot. Why is everything gourmet unhealthy? And then there's cream of tartare, which I have never used ever. And I need one fourth teaspoon. And then we're gonna whip it. Add sugar, continue. Oh, whoops. I was supposed to do the egg white and the cream of tartare first. Oh well, we'll, we'll try this. Just do it's it. fine. It's fine. We've already learned that doing stuff according to the directions not how we do it here. Is not how it works. Looking good. Good. All right, this is the big moment. I have to get this on top of this. This is not as pretty as it's supposed to be. <laughs> this looks terrible. It's supposed to be like a perfect dome. Okay, um, I think we're gonna have to cut some of the cake off. Improvising. I've been cooking all day. It's a cake ring. <laughs> now we must make this a dome with this. Who the hell thought of this? <laughs> People just get creative, you know, it's art. Food, food is art. Now the scary part, or the fun part, however. Ooh, look, how it's doing it. Uh, this is way smaller than it's than a torch is supposed to be, so this might take a very long time. Oh no, it's just like falling off. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's burning! Ooh. Oh my God, I feel fancy. Tiny little burns. I have to do this to the whole thing. Let's just ignore this side. <laughs> Coming down. This may be a fail. Well, there you go. Just one really good spot. Let's just have that good That's spot. That's it? Just the, <laughs> the one good spot. This is a disaster. I don't even know what to say about this. It looks horrible. I want to see what it, what the inside looks like. Okay. It's so good. Five stars. Holy crap. Are you just saying that because nope. it was a failure? You don't like it? It's ice cream. It's like eating ice, it's cream. ice cream cake. Was it worth all the time and effort? No. I could have enjoyed, I could have been just as happy eating that cake with a scoop of ice cream on top. I mean, it's really good. That doesn't look great though. <laughs> this is called melting Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Global warming. All right, well. That's it for Lauren's Sim Kitchen. I feel like I did a better job last time with my hamburger cake. Hamburger cake was definitely better than this. But I mean, it was gourmet, so it was a step up anyway. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my my chef skills, my very clear chef skills that I clearly have by not following directions. <laughs> it's the way to be. But if you liked what I did in this video, make sure to leave a like before you go, especially because it's the month after my birthday and my brain is fried from doing this all day. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit the notification bell so I don't get lost in the void that is now YouTube. And as always, I will see you guys soon. My stomach hurts. Mine too.